हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन दिस इज साहिल अनम प्रेजेंटिंग यू प्रतिथि योर डेली डोज ऑफ जीके डिफेंस रिलेटेड क्वेश्चंस एंड करंट अफेयर्स ऑल इन वन सेशन सो लाइक अर्लियर वी विल डिस्कस सम क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक्स व्हिच आर इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी डिफेंस एग्जामिनेशन और एनी बैंकिंग और सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन आल्सो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन एंड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हु हैज बीन नेम्ड एज अ 2022 टाइम पर्सन ऑफ द ईयर 2022 टाइम्स पर्सन ऑफ द ईयर कहा को नामित करा जाइछि करेक्ट आंसर इज व्लादिमीर जेलेंस्की व्लादिमीर जेलेंस्की जे की करेंटली यूक्रेन का प्रेसिडेंट एंड ही ही इज फेमस एंड ही इज फेमस बिकॉज़ द करेंट इशू व्हिच इज हैपनिंग इन द इंटरनेशनल टेरिटरीज वी कैन से बिटवीन द यूक्रेन एंड रशिया देयर इज अ वॉर व्हिच इज हैपनिंग and the ukrainian president is famous for this he handled it perfectly we cannot say perfectly but he handled handled this war situation well and that's why he has been named as the 2022 person of the year by times magazine what's the reason he has put up a fisty resistance against the russian invasion 2022 re jete bale russia ra invasion hitela se got a fisty resistance russian against re russian invasion against re पुट अप करते एंड सिंस दि इनवेजन अफ रशिया व्हिच हैपेंड ऑन फेब्रुआरी ट्वेंटी फोर्थ इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू जेलेन्स्की हाज डेलीवर्ड डेली स्पीचेस दैट आर फॉलोड बाय यूक्रेनियंस एंड द गवर्नमेंट्स अराउंड द ग्लोब जेलेन्स्की हाज सेयर्ड द टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू टाइटल विथ द स्प्रिट ऑफ यूक्रेन टाइम मैगजीन हाज प्रेजेंटेड इट्स फर्स्ट पर्सन ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सेवेन एंड दिस ईयर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डीना बोलोरेट डीना बोलोरेट एज्यूम्स एज अ फर्स्ट फीमेल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ व्हिच कंट्री को कंट्री रा प्रथम फीमेल प्रेसिडेंट हिसाब रे डीना बोलोरेट इलेक्ट है चुनती एज्यूम ऑफिस को एज्यूम कर चुनती करेक्ट आंसर इज पेरू सो फॉर्मर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट सी वाज द फॉर्मर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ पेरू एंड ही करेंटली सी एज्यूम्ड द चार्ज एज द फर्स्ट फीमेल एंड सिक्स्थ प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ पेरू पेरू रा सिक्स्थ प्रेसिडेंट हिसाब रे से ऑफिस को एज्यूम कर चुनती हर टर्म हैज बीन एक्सटेंडेड टू 2026 ऑफ जुलाई जुलाई 2026 पर्यंत तांको टर्म को एक्सटेंड करा जी हर ओथ केम व्हेन हर प्रेडेसेसर बीइंग डिटेन्ड बाय पुलिस एंड इम्प्रिच्ड बाय लॉ मेकर्स एंड द सेरेमनी टू प्लेस hours after the majority of 101 members in the 130 person legislative body voted to impeach pedro casillo who is the former president of peru tanku impeach kara gala impeachment hala tankara peru ami jodi kahiba peru ro capital lima and currency of peru is sol moving to the next question how many indian women how many indian women have been listed in the 2022 forbes annual list of the world's 100 most powerful women world ra 100 most powerful women manan kar list jota ki forbes dwara publish kara jaye se list 2022 re kete jana indian women ko list kara jai chi 2022 ra forbes annual list of world's 100 most powerful women e list re kete jana women Indian women shamil achan the correct answer is 6 6 Indian women have been listed in the 2022 Forbes annual list of the world's 100 most powerful women finance minister nirmala sitaraman finance minister nirmala sitaraman has ranked 36th for the fourth time in a row kiran mazumdar shaw who is the bicon executive chairperson ranked 77 falguni nair who is the founder of nika was ranked 89 Roshni Nadar Malhotra who is the chairperson of HCL she ranked 53 Madhavi Puri Buch who is the SEVI chief ranked 54 and Shoma Mondol who is the chief of SEL is ranked 67 so total of 6 indian women have been listed in this list and uh, top uh, Ursula won uh, who is the top in top of the list is ursula von der leyen uh, who is the belgium who is from belgium who is the european commission president european commission president ursula von der leyen uh, leyen is the uh, is she from belgium he is the top of the list a renowned artist writer 
renowned artist writer recently passed away what is the name of this artist writer correct answer is manohar devadas so renowned artist and writer manohar devadas has been passed away at the age of 86 in his 30s he was diagnosed diagnosed with uh, retinitis retinitis pigmentosa retinitis pigmentosa it is a progressive incurable degenerative eye disease tanko 30s re sei disease re diagnosed hitile and 86 years re se dehant karichanti which leads to the total blindness a disease re total blindness a disease ta cause kare in 2020 he was honored with padma shri award for his contributions to art he authored many books such as a poem to chorus multiple facets of my madurai mahe and mano challenges uh, green well years these are the books which he authored so a popular uh, writer actor we have lost recently so sukhvinder next question sukhvinder singh suku recently what happened in this uh, two in the two states recently in india assembly elections was going on uh, in the state of gujarat and himachal pradesh and in these two uh, states if we talk about gujarat bjp came bjp the uh, um, current lo- ruling party of india uh, this party won the uh, uh, majority of seats and in himachal pradesh congress is which is another party uh, national party uh, won the, won the majority of seats so uh, uh, who is the new chief minister of, uh, sorry uh, uh, sukhvinder singh suku is the new chief minister of which state we have given four st- uh, four states name the four states so the recent uh, 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 elections happened in the himachal pradesh so correct answer is himachal pradesh so what happened the sukhvinder singh suku has been unanimously elected as a new chief minister of himachal pradesh and he will take uh, uh, oath on the 11th dec- and he has taken oath on the 11th of december 2022 succeeding jairam thakur he served as the president of the himachal pradesh congress committee from the year of 2013 to 2019 apart from him, uh, this mukesh agnihotri who is the leader of the opposition in the outgoing assembly has been appointed as the deputy chief minister of himachal pradesh governor of himachal pradesh is currently rajendra bishwanath arlekar next question uh, it is about the important day that is human rights day so uh, 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 world human rights day is observed on which day correct answer is 10th of december so human rights day is observed every year on 10th of december marking the day when united nations general assembly adopted universal declaration of human rights that is udhr universal declaration of human rights ko jitte bale 1948 re united nations ra general assembly dwara adopt kara gala sei din taru uh 10th of december ko human rights day hisabare celebrate kara jaye and the theme for this year that means in, you know, for the year of 2022 is dignity freedom and justice for all dignity freedom and justice for all is the theme for this year's uh human rights day udhr which is the universal declaration of human rights it is a milestone document which proclaims the in uh, alienable rights that everyone is entitled to as a human being regardless of race color religion sex uh, language political national or social origin property birth or other status so this udhr kon ko huchi na it is a milestone document jota proclaim karuchi a right that kon na everyone is entitled who are the human beings regardless of uh, his uh, his or her race uh, color religion sex language political national or social origin property birth or other status so 10th of december is human rights day recently who has been elected as the first woman president of indian olympic association indian olympic association ra 
प्रथम महिला प्रेसिडेंट हिसाब से क्या इलेक्ट कर करेक्ट आंसर इज पीटी उषा सो लेजेंडरी फॉर्म एथलीट पीटी उषा द एज ऑफ 58 एट इयर्स हाज बीन ऑफिशियली इलेक्टेड एज द फर्स्ट वुमेन प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन ओलंपिक एसोसिएशन दैट इज आईओ ए सी इज अ मल्टीपल एशियन गेम्स गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट एंड अ फोर्थ प्लेस फिनिशर इन द 1984 एट्टी फोर ओलंपिक्स ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड मीटर्स हर्डल्स फाइनल अपार्ट फ्रॉम हर अजय एच पटेल हाज बीन इलेक्टेड एज द सीनियर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट राजलक्ष्मी सिंह देव एंड गगन नारंग एज द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन ओलंपिक एसोसिएशन सो हेडक्वार्टर्ड ऑफ हेडक्वार्टर्स ऑफ द इंडियन ओलंपिक एसोसिएशन इज इन न्यू डेली सो नाउ पी टी उषा इज द करेंट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन ओलंपिक एसोसिएशन एंड द फर्स्ट वुमेन प्रेसिडेंट नोबेल प्राइज डे नोबेल प्राइज डे को दिन अब्जर्व कराए करेक्ट आंसर इज टेन्थ अफ डिसेम्बर सो प्रति बर्ष टेन्थ अफ डिसेम्बर नोबेल प्राइज डे अब्जर्व कराए टू अनर दि एचिवमेंट्स अफ एलफ्रेड बनार्ड नोबेल हु इज ए स्वेडिश इंजीनियर केमिस्ट एंटरप्रेनर एंड फिलेथ्रोपिस्ट फाइव नोबेल प्राइज दैट मीन्स इन फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री फिजियोलॉजी एंड मेडिसिन लिटरेचर एंड पीस these are awarded annually on 10th of december since 1901 in the from the year of 1901 every year on 10th of december five nobel prizes that means in physics chemistry physiology or medicine literature and peace prati barsha pancha ta nobel prize puraskar pradan kara jaye every year a ceremony is held in stockholm sweden on 10th of december on the anniversary of alfred nobel's death What is the name of the cyclone which recently caused damages in the states of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh? So, Andhra Pradesh or Tamil Nadu uh, state, right? Who cyclone that recently caused very big damages? Caused by which? Correct answer is Mandos. Mandos cyclone Mandos uh, has a weakened. Uh, it has currently weakened into a deep depression, but uh, in the last two days, it has created havoc. in the southern peninsula chennai and several other parts of tamil nadu and andhra pradesh have witnessed heavy rain and strong winds as cyclonic storm mandos uh, crossed the states after landfall as per the india meteorological department that is imd the name of the mandos uh, the name mandos chuta idha ko diya jai chi a cyclone ko it has been suggested by the united arab emirates uae dwara eta ko suggest kare so different countries named different uh, um, cyclones It, it 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 has a process uh, so we can't do anything uh, uh next question uh, men's single 2022 bwf world tour finals ra uh, bijeta kiye who won this men's singles 2022 uh, bwf uh, bwf world tour finals so bwf वर्ल्ड टूर फाइनल्स दुई हजार बैस रिंगल्स मेन्स मेन्स रिंगल्स रिजेता किए करेक्ट आंसर इज विक्टर एक्सलसन विक्टर एक्सलसन हु इज फ्रम डेनमार्क हि हाज वोन हिज एथ टाइटल फॉर मेन्स सिंगल्स बी डब्ल्यू एफ वर्ल्ड टूर फाइनल्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इन बैंकॉक थाइलैंड इन दिस टूर्नामेंट हि डिड डिफीटेड एंटोनी गिंटिंग फ्रम इंडोनेशिया वाइल एकान Yamaguchi of Japan has defeated Taiwanese Tai Zuzing to win her women's singles title. Other winners of this tournament, uh, if we talk about men's doubles, Liu Yuchen and Ou Zhuangyi uh, from China. He is from Chinese. These two from women men's doubles. Women's doubles ko tha koi ba? Then Chen Xingzhen and Jian uh, Yifen. The they are also from China. and uh, mixed doubles is zheng siwi and huang yakuyong these are also from china you can see these names uh, on the screen uh, how many himalayan medicinal plants enter iucn red list iucn red list re kete ta himalayan medicinal plants enter karichun the correct answer is 3 सो तीन टा मेडिसिनल प्लांट स्पेसीज कौन तेजोट्रोपिस्लीटा 
Fritillaria cirrhosa and Dactyloriza hatagria. Uh, uh, I may be uh, pronouncing it wrong, but you can see these names on the screen. And these three plant species, medicinal plant species, Emanonku list Korajaichi, IUCN, red list of threatened species after recent assessment. Recent assessment for a 18 eta plant medicinal plant species, Manonku, uh, Himalayan medicinal plants species, Manonku, IUCN raw red list ray. Uh, ent, uh, entry kora jai chi, IUCN red list of the threatened species. Con region, the biodiversity hotspot shows deforestation, habitat loss, forest fires, illegal trade and climate change. Mesotropic, Mesotropis pellita which is the first species has been assessed as critically endangered. Uh, second species Fritillaria cirrhosa, it, it, it is uh, assessed as vulnerable and Dictyloriza hatagria is um, assessed as endangered. So critically endangered, vulnerable and endangered. So three medicinal plant species from Himalaya has been entered into this IUCN red list of threatened species. Next question India ranked at which place in 2022 Hurun global 500 ranking valuable forms so hurun global 500 juta ki valuable forms mananku 500 valuable forms mananku rank karithire karithai sethire india ra rank kete correct answer is fifth according to the 2022 hurun global 500 list released by hurun research institute india uh, has been ranked as uh, at the place 5 India has been ranked fifth with 20 most valuable farms. India re Kodiata most valuable farms raichi. The India ku ethre fifth rank kara raichi in the Hurun Global 500 list. 11 uh, out of this 20, 11 are based in Mumbai, 4 in Ahmedabad, 1 each in Noida, New Delhi, Bangalore, and Kolkata. So, Reliance Industries has topped the list of Indian companies with the valuation of $202 billion while it ranked 34th in the world. It was followed by TCS, Tata Consultant Services that is TTCS which is with a valuation of $139 billion and HDFC Bank uh, with a valuation of $97 billion and the US has topped the list. And a list of top question in United States. Next question: Which state is awarded for TB control program? Tuber, I TB disease ra control program re ko state ko award karayechi. Correct answer is Meghalaya. Meghalaya government has been awarded for its initiative Jan Andolan. Jan Andolan means People's Movement. Jan Andolan against tuberculosis, tuberculosis TB at a national workshop on ACSM to end TB in India. Tuberculosis ko end kore by India re. What a Jan Andolan that is people's movement against tuberculosis. Ko Meghalaya government dwara launch kore at a national workshop on ACSM. The award has uh, award was presented in the category of best practice in advocacy, communication, and social mobilization in tuberculosis control to representatives of the state's health department. Prime Minister Modi had put a national target to eliminate the disease by year of 2025. Meghalaya Chief Minister is currently Konrad Sangma. Konrad Sangma is the current Meghalaya Chief Minister. Who scored the fastest double century in ODI cricket recently? Kye recently ODI cricket re fastest double century score correction. The correct answer is Ishan Kishan. Indian cricketer Ishan Kishan has scored fastest double century in the history of ODI cricket. He had scored 210 runs against Bangladesh in the third game of the series at the 
Zahur Ahmad Chaudhary Stadium in Bangladesh. He has broken seven-year-old record created by the West Indies cricketer Krish Gale, and he has achieved the feat in just 126 balls, while Gale took 138 balls to achieve the milestone. He also surpassed Saurabh Ganguly's score and became India's highest individual run scorer, opener batter. Highest individual op- run scorer, opener batter, Isabre. he has surpassed Saurabh Ganguly's score. Next, which edition of the India-Indonesia Coordinated Patrol? India Indonesia Coordinated Patrol that is Ind- Indo Korpat. India Indonesia Korpat, which is called Korpat. Tara Ketetamo edition is currently being con- conducted. Korpat, India Indonesia with uh, uh, conduct Karaje era Ketetamo edition currently challenge. Correct answer is 39th. The 39th edition of India Indonesia coordinated patrol that is in the indo core part between indian navy and the indonesian navy is being conducted from 8th to 19th december 2022 ins karmuk ins karmuk and indigenously built missile corvette participated in the pre deployment briefing at belavan indonesia along with india's ins karmuk L-58 and Dornier Maritime Patrol aircraft are participating in the core part. India and Indonesia have been carrying out core parts in twice a year since 2020, 2002. Do you have a core part? Do you have a core part? Do you have a core so with this question i conclude today's session just before ending i want to announce pratiti has a monthly magazine also which is being published in pdf format compiled by professionals from all the leading newspapers it will help you to read the news on the go and stay up to date for any competitive examination it has some suggestions you can choose as per convenient to subscribe this you have to visit our website that is www.vodsk.in and those who are aspiring to join defense forces you have to clear certain examinations such as nda cda safcat cpa finite army sscgd navy air force all these examinations uh, you have to clear if you want to join indian military or paramilitary but to clear these examinations you need proper preparation guidance mentorship and all these will be provided to you by warriors grid we have educators instructors mentors they will guide you in your preparation and you will be easily able to clear this examination and achieve your goal of joining defense forces so to join us you have to call on the number given below that is double nine zero three four five nine five eight three or double nine zero three four two nine five eight three or you may just visit our website that is www.warriorsgrid.in so with this i conclude today's session we will meet tomorrow till then do like share comment subscribe thank you Jai Hind.